week number 11 of our project. We are volunteers for the Restore Our Shores Foundation and the Brevard County Zoo. We're raising oysters and clams on our dock here to eventually be placed by the Restore Our Shores Foundation. They're, they're gonna take our oysters and clams and place them throughout the Indian River to help improve the water quality and the ecosystems of the lagoon. Yeah, and then I think the clams are gonna stay around us. Oh, great. Um, and get spread out um, amongst this little area here. Great. And we were getting bombed by mosquitoes this morning. You guys can see, I don't know if there's one, two, they're all over us. So um, we're, hopefully they're not as bad out on the dock, but I bet they will be. So we're gonna have to do this with the quickness today, I think. It's, the mosquitoes are bad. Not looking too clear. No, it's not, but we'll see. It's been pretty clear the past couple weeks. Yeah. So I actually caught, it is pretty clear. I got um. Oh man, the mosquitoes are bad. Cars feasting on the clams the other day yes so I'm, yeah I, we gotta really watch yeah closely because hope that they didn't lay eggs in the nets wow we're like that in a cloud of mosquitoes bad. down here the mosquitoes are yeah. real bad they're real bad it's kind of clear i don't it's not as well, clear as it's been fish. oh yeah there's a big snook right there i don't know if the camera can pick it up there's another one right oh, there is that a fish right there whoa that's a big one that's not a fish that's not a fish yeah yeah all right, so we have our oysters in, in, the, in the baskets here hanging off the dock, and then the clams are in bags um, in between these four poles right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see any conks today. So every other week we sweep these nets off. We're not gonna do that this week. Um, we're just gonna do a visual. I could see the conks from here last yeah. time when I caught them. I got three the other day, so. Oh my gosh, look at all the mosquitoes. Look at that, holy cow. Look at my legs, they're not even on me. Man, they just like Crazy. me, they love me. All right, um, all right, I'm gonna hand you the camera and let's let's start pulling these traps up. All right, sounds good. Mosquitoes are bad. We're gonna start up front, up here? Yeah, sure. Get the gloves on, so we get all cut up. We keep the camera on while we pull these up because sometimes there's interesting stuff that's on them that's hanging out. I don't out see on. anything on this yeah, one. I don't see anything on this one. It almost looks like it's like just an inch from the ground. Yeah, it probably is. Oh, oh, good. Good. oh you can see him squirting. See him? See him all squirting? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. We'll have to show that more clearly with the, the next batch. See if we got any predators in here. You got anything? Nothing. Really Great. See anything. I'm gonna get. Let's see if I can get the squirting after this. Whoa! Uh oh. Whoa! This cage just broke. <sighs> we'll have to fix that. That just broke. Not surprised. All okay. right, you ready? Oh, we got it. Cage number two. You want to see the squirting on these? Yeah. And they are just basically sitting on the ground. Let's see them shooting. So cool. Yeah, it is cool. This is the first week we've noticed that. Yeah. I'm sure they were doing it already. They just didn't squirt it as like far. It wasn't as noticeable. Alright, cool. Oh, oh there's something a, in yeah, there. It looks like a little baby sheep's head. Yep, it is. Did it come out? No. Not yet. Let's see if we can get it out doing this. He's like, oh no, I'm busted. They look pretty good. Yeah, they do. All right. I don't see him anymore. Yeah, hopefully he came out. Man, they're really squirting. Yeah, they are. That's cool. Yeah. We were just talking about that. We yeah. Were wondering when we'd be able to see that. Wow, well, these are really filling the cages up. Yeah. Good thing we some little uh, transferred them all into. Yeah. All right. You got two more. Yep. All right. I'm gonna pull this one all the way out and see if we can get a predator on the dock. pretty good. We haven't had a lot of predators in these the past no. couple weeks. No, I, but I did find those crown conks on the plants. Right. The last one right here. Oh, 
There was a, did you see that? No, what was it? There's some little um, sheep's head, I think. Look at them all squirting. They're like little fountains. They are, it's cool. Anything? Oh, there's, there's a, a little, little sheep's head. You got a little predator little right there. Baby. Let's, let's go ahead and let him go. No, you're not going down the crack. That happened last week. And it took me like five minutes to get. You got him. Nope. Here, I got no gloves. Yeah, there you go. The sheep's head are crazy. If you ever see a full grown sheep's head, their teeth look like donkey teeth. Uh -huh. <laughs> they have an underbite. Yeah, they do. They are looking good. Yeah, they are. All right. That really rinses them off pretty well. Yeah, it does. I mean, you got to hose them down too, but. Probably don't really have to hose them down. That's probably sufficient. Interesting little, looks like an owl pooped that out or something, doesn't it? That's crazy. All right. Now really, if you're new to the to our video series here, all we all we have to do now is scrub these cages down and then you might be wondering why we're taking them out. We're doing this to mimic a low tide. Uh-huh. You know, most uh, oysters, you know, grow along the, they make oyster beds kind of along the shore and, and they're exposed to low tide, which helps to eliminate the predators and other stuff. So we're just kind of doing that for nature. There we go. All right, where's my tool? Right here. Great. So really all we'll do now is we'll just scrub these down real good. This one, they're pretty clean. Yeah. We've been keeping up with it. If you keep up with it, there's not much you got to do. It's just give it a little scrub here on all sides. We got to fix that one. Yeah, we got to fix that one cage. Let me scrub the bottom of this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to keep up with the growth, really. And the barnacles. The barnacles are the worst. Yeah, they and are. Those kind and of that, build up. Like, that's proof you're not keeping up with it, too. They take several weeks to establish. So uh -huh. if you have lots and lots of barnacles, you probably aren't doing your job. I hate to say it. But really, this is all we do. We just clean these off like this. And then move on to the next cage. We won't do all that on camera, but before we... Let's go ahead and take one of these out. Yeah. Show everybody what 11 week. Well, no, these would be not they're 11 week. We got them when they're how old? 15 weeks. Yeah, so they're 15 about a month weeks. old when we got them. This is what a 15 week old oyster looks like. Here's a good example right here. This is one see. oyster there. Yeah, you can see what they did here. They took a, a dead oyster shell and then just seeded all these little oysters onto it. So in the middle of this right here is just an old dead oyster shell. Pretty cool. Yeah. We gotta make sure we close these cages so no predators get in there. Crap. Kind of a hole right there. Yeah, I know. Right, Some of better. these cages are a couple seasons old. So. Yeah. And it's a pretty harsh environment that they're hanging in, you know. All right, so we'll do this to the uh, rest of the other five cages, and then we'll we'll get back with everybody when we're done. Show you what they look like. All right, sounds good. All right, we finished cleaning these cages here, and they're looking pretty good. Like we said, the uh, clams, um, we're not gonna sweep them today, but we can't really see them very well. So I think we're gonna have to come out another day this week and just mm -hmm. make sure that the, there's no conks or anything on them. Um, yeah, two days ago I got conks off of them. Yeah, you so got a couple, didn't you? Got three, yeah. yeah. So um, we're, we're probably gonna have to come back when the water clarity's better and check on those, but uh, the oysters are done for the week. Now all we have to do, I think it's like maybe 9.30 right now in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we got to come back in eight hours. We'll come back kind of mid-afternoon and put these back in the water. But that's really all we have to do for these. One more thing we have to do for the clams is take the salinity. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. 
It's right behind you there. We'll go walk we'll over. Do it at the yeah, let's go walk over to the seawall and uh, see what we get for a reading. We saw some dolphins out there a second ago. I was hoping to get them on camera, but they kind of disappeared. So the dolphins are crazy. They'll come in here in between the docks and school a bunch of fish and then just slaughter them. And then there's just fish flying everywhere, dolphins kicking their tails. It's really. They even teach their little babies. Yeah, it's like super. Have, they'll stun some fish so that their babies can catch them. Yeah, it is a super fun thing to watch. So, all right. What and if you got? think dolphins are gentle yeah. and sweet, oh man. oh man, if you see them fishing. They're like mini orcas. Yeah. <laughs> they're smaller and they're going after smaller prey, but they look like orcas to me when they're hunting. They're so fast. They're like killing machines. Alright, what do we got? Alright, so there's a few bubbles on the... Yeah, what she's talking about there is the little... Um, the little triangle gauge that gives us the reading. If you don't get all the bubbles off of that little white triangle, it will float it and make an inaccurate reading. So, gotta make sure we get all the bubbles off. I got them. All right, what we got? Whoa. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Huh. 35? Yeah. So that's our lowest reading yet. For yeah. Salinity, right? 35. Last week was like around 38, and the week before was about 37. 30, yeah, 36 so, or 37. Uh, so 35 today. We just got rain, so I'm I'm guessing that that's probably what could be reduced the salinity because um, we hadn't had rain for a while, and the week the week we got the high reading was real dry. Yeah. So, um, you know. And like we talked about, idea. tides might have something to do with it too. Yep, tides. Um, um, I'm not sure why. I think we're approaching high tide right now. So, But I'm sure the rain has a lot to do with it because, you know, we have a lot of runoff from the homes and the roads and everything else. So a lot of fresh water does get um, get into the, the lagoon when yeah. it rains. So. All right, so now we'll take that reading and we'll upload it to their website. Yep. And um, there's volunteers like us all up and down the lagoon or the river that will do the same thing. And then mm -hmm. they, it'll give them a... A, a nice picture of what's going on yeah um, overall so yeah. all right y'all well today was an uneventful day with the oysters and clams that's a good thing they're all alive and doing well that's what we want so if you have any questions or comments about the restore our shows shores program you can visit their website at restoreourshores.org or you're welcome to post down below we'll be happy to try and answer your questions until and we, we do a video like this every week so you can check back next week and uh Next week, we'll probably get in the water with the clams, too. Yeah. If you look at, I think it was either last week's video or the video before, Annalisa got some just riveting footage of the <laughs> clams underwater. I mean, you've got to you got to look that video up. It was just amazing. The day but, I found the conks, I should have taken some video because it was crystal clear. Yeah. But. No, the footage you got wasn't bad, though. Yeah, I know, but the other day, it was killer yeah. when I got those conks. Um, yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Well, uh, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, post down below. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.